Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on what is pattern, pattern materials and important things into the castings and that will be selection of pattern materials. So let us start with the basic fundamental of pattern. So basically pattern is a mold forming tool in the hands of foundryman. Or you can say in simple way, a pattern is a model or you can say replica of object to be cast. So whatever you want to make, that will be the similar kind of dimensions and or you can say it will be a one kind of replica of the casting product. Then except for the various allowances, a pattern exactly resembles the castings to be made so a pattern is required even if one object has to be cast then a pattern may be defined as a model or form around which sand is packed to give rise to a cavity which is known as mold cavity in which when molten metal is to be poured and the result and that will be a cast object or you can say cast product so in simple way pattern that will be representing as a replica of the object to be cast then important part selection of pattern materials so basically the number of castings to be produced so if it will be the single piece production if it will be a batch production or you can considering as a mass production. So which kind of production method is going to be used? Metal patterns are preferred when a production quantity is to be large. So whenever that will be the mass production, so at that time we are preferring a pattern material as a metallic materials. The desired dimensional accuracy and the surface finish required for the castings. So as from the dimensional accuracy that will be also selected. Nature of molding process or you can say sand molding, permanent mold casting, cell molding, investment casting process. So which kind of casting process is going to be used to form a cast object. So that will be known as a nature of molding process. So according to that nature of molding process there will be the selections of pattern materials. Methods of molding, so basically manual molding or you can say by the help of hand molding or you can say in some applications it will be machine molding is to be used. So which kind of molding methodology is going to be used to making a cast product? Shape, complexity and size of the castings that will be also selection of the pattern materials. Type of molding materials, it means sand if we are using as a molding materials. So it will be having a different pattern materials. The high probability of changing the castings and hence the pattern is near future. Now different materials that will be used for a making a patterns. So basically starting with the first one and that will be wood metal, plastic, plaster or you can say plaster of Paris, wax, etc. So in details with the first material and that will be wood. So basically the most common materials for making a patterns for sand casting is the wood. And that will be easily available into the nature. So according to our requirement of the shape and size, it will be converting into that particularly shape and size. The so some of the advantages of the wood material as a pattern, inexpensive, easily available in large quantities, easy to machine and to shape the different configurations and forms. So that will be easily converting into our required shape and size in simple way. Easy to join to acquire complex and large pattern shapes. So if it will be the large size of the 
cast objects so you can easily make a such kind of patterns from wooden materials light in weight so you can easily handle from one place to another place easy to obtain good surface finish by the different operations it will be carried out onto the wooden materials wooden patterns can be preserved for quite long times with the help of suitable wood preservatives so that will be you can use for number of times some of the limitations for the selection of the wooden materials as a pattern materials like a uh, wooden patterns are susceptible for shrinkage and swelling so after using so many times it will be having a swelling or you can say due to the some moisture it will be present into the environments so that will be shrinkage so that will be change the dimensions of that particular patterns so it will be making the defective piece as from the dimensional accuracy so that will be having a difficulties with the wooden material as a pattern materials then one more they process is poor wear resistance they are abraded easily by the sand actions they absorbs the moisture consequently get deformed and changes the shape and size so it will be not having a higher dimensional accuracy after longer period of time they cannot withstand rough handling they are weak as compared to the metallic patterns the next one and that will be the metallic materials it will be used as a pattern materials so metal patterns are employed where large number of castings have to be produced from the same patterns so that will be the basic requirements of the selections of the metallic materials as a pattern material metal patterns are cast from wooden patterns so if you want to make a metallic patterns so initially it will be made as a wooden patterns so by the application of this wooden materials as a pattern to manufacturing a metal patterns so the different metal and alloys used for making the patterns are aluminum and aluminum alloys steel cast iron brass and white metal some of the advantages of metallic patterns unlike wooden patterns they do not absorb moisture they retain their shapes so there will be the no any kind of moisture effect onto the dimensions there is no shrinkage they are more stronger and accurate as compared to a wooden patterns they possesses life much longer than a wooden patterns so that will be also used for longer period of time and you can say it will be also for a mass production they can withstand rough handling they do not distort they possesses greater resistance of abrasion they have accurate dimensional tolerances they are far stable under a different environment conditions it is easy to obtain smooth surface finish by the different machining operations like grinding then they process is excellent wear resistance and the strength to weight ratio so that will be having a good durability and it will be also having a good excellent dimensional accuracy and that will be used for a mass productions some of the limitations of metal patterns like expensive as compared to a wooden patterns because in this metallic patterns it will be having a alloying elements or you can say some aluminum alloys steels is being used so that will be having a higher initial cost and the conversion from wooden pattern to that particularly metallic patterns so that will be bearing the cost or you can say increasing the cost of that particular pattern materials are not easily repair or you can say aluminum patterns so that will be having a difficulties with the aluminum as a pattern material ferrous patterns get rusted so if you are using a ferrous patterns so that will be having a difficulties they or you can say ferrous patterns are heavier than a wooden patterns so that will be having a difficulties for handling from one place to another place 
they cannot be machined so easily as a wooden so by obvious some of the advanced machining processing is being carried out to making a such kind of patterns the next that will be the plastic so basically plastic you can easily converting into desired shape and size with the help of different uh, processes like extrusion and uh, forming processes or you can say injection molding processes so nowadays the maximum applications that will be fine with the help of plastics or you can say nowadays the 3d printers that will be also used to making a pattern materials from that particularly permanent plastic materials so some of the advantages let's say long durable provides a smooth surface finish by the advanced processes moisture resistance that will be having a good advantages as a plastic materials like it will be the resistance of the corrosions or you can say there will be the no any kind of effect of the moisture onto the plastic materials a plastic patterns does not involve any appreciable changes in its size and shape then lighter into weight that will be also important part wear and corrosion resistance as a plastic materials provides good surface finish into the plastics it processes low solid shrinkage so there will be the less or you can say low shrinkage onto the materials some of the limitations like plastic patterns are fragile and thus light sections may be needed metal reinforcements second plastic patterns may not work well when subjected to conditions of the several shocks as into the machine molding process so if you are using a machine molding process to making a mold so there will be the difficulties for the plastic materials to sustain such kind of loading conditions then our next material and that will be plaster or you can say pop or you can say plaster of paris so some of the advantages like can be easily worked by using woodworking tools integrated shapes can be cast without any difficulties so you can make any small size or large size of patterns with the help of pop materials it has a high compressive strength around 285 kg per centimeter square so good compressive strength so it will be having a good withstanding capacity then some of the limitations like can be used for small castings only plaster pattern materials basically may be made out with the plaster of paris or you can say gypsum cements some of the applications like plaster is used for making a small and integrated shapes and also for making a core boxes the next material and that will be a wax materials so whenever that will be having a difficulties to making a patterns with the help of wooden metal or you can say pop plastics so at that time there will be the wax is being used and most of the cases if that pattern having a difficulties to withdrawing from the mold to forming a cavity at that time the wax pattern is being used so wax pattern that will be itself it will be into the mold whenever we are pouring the molten form of the metal so that wax materials it will be easily coming out from the mold box so it will be having so many advantages let's see wax patterns provide very good surface finish they impart high accuracy to be castings after being molded the wax pattern is not taken out of the mold like other patterns rather the mold is inverted and heated the molten wax comes out and is evaporated so what happens there is no chance of the mold cavity getting damaged while removing the pattern so that will be the most advantages of the wax material as a pattern materials some of the applications wax patterns find applications into the investment casting process so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching